The Tarrant County District Attorney made stunning claims against two former prosecutors in a death penalty case. Good evening. I'm Clarice Tinsley. First at 530. The District Attorney Sharon Wilson says both prosecutors lied when they told the jury the victim's family supported a death sentence. The convicted killer in that case is on death row. Fox News Dion England takes a closer look at the DA's claims. Dion. Hi there, Clarice. Well, this move comes more than 10 years after the death penalty conviction of Paul Story. And while Wilson was not in office at that time, she sent a message today that malfeasance occurred and should be addressed. To have a district attorney do this is unprecedented. Activist with the Innocence Project of Texas, Corey Session, is applauding Tarrant County DA Sharon Wilson, who filed a brief with the state's Court of Criminal Appeals regarding the death penalty conviction of Paul Story in the 2006 robbery and brutal killing of Jonas Cherry, a putt-putt golf attendant. To say that the family, the entire family, was for the death penalty was a flat-out lie. In the document, Wilson points out two prosecutors who served the office before her tenure knowingly told a lie in closing statements of the trial sentencing phase, saying it should go without saying that all of Jonas's family and everyone who loved him believed the death penalty is appropriate. Wilson, in her brief, points out, as we now know, this was a lie. Jonas's family, in particular his parents, did not want the death penalty for the man who brutally murdered their son. Session has acted on behalf of Cherry's parents, who, with this 2017 recorded statement, prompted a stay of execution for Paul's story. We absolutely do not want Paul's story to be executed for the murder of our son. Wilson further contends the two prosecutors continue to lie under oath when the issue came to light. They blatantly lied. Those are her words in the filing. Blatantly lied and then continued to lie when the Court of Criminal Appeals said, hey, go back and look at this and tell us what happened. They continued to lie in her opinion. In closing, Wilson made clear in her brief what she believes should happen in the case where the life or death sentence of Paul's story hangs in the balance. She wrote, under these most extraordinary circumstances, story should at the very least be granted a new punishment trial. Now, at this point, I am made to believe there are three possible outcomes here. The Court of Criminal Appeals can uh, either order or mandate that a new sentencing phase of the trial take place. It can itself commute the sentence of Paul's story or take no action at all.